Hello, my dear students. Today's topic is grammar. We are going to learn about passive and we are going to practice it in different sentences. First of all, let's have a look at these pictures and the sentences. Have a look at here. There is a great festival every year at Midwest. It's a great fun. Have a look at the sentences. People organize the festival every day. We have another sentence having the same meaning. The festival is organized every year. Have a look at the other picture. There is a great festival every year, but have a look at the picture. What are they doing? Last year, they organized a food competition. So we can see here a food competition. Last year, a food competition was organized. We have got here another sentence with the same meaning, but expressed differently. This is exactly where what we are going to learn today. We are going to learn about passive. Let's have a look at how we form passive. We form the passive with the verb to be plus the past participle of the main verb. Be careful, the verb to be should be in the same tense as it is as the verb is in the active sentence. For example, they organize a festival every year. Have a look at the verb. The verb is organize. What tense is it? It is in the present simple. So, have a look at the other sentence. The festival is organized every year. And as we can see, the verb to be is, it is in the present simple, as the verb in the active sentence. Then we have the past participle of the verb. What is the past participle of the verb? We have regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the past participle verb plus ed, while the irregular forms are the verbs that you have at the end of your books. But have a look um, at the other sentences here. The mosaic was made by Saimir Strati. The mosaic was made with corks. We use by plus agent to say who carries out the action, or we use with plus material or instruments to say what the agent used to carry out an action. In this case, the mosaic was made by Samir Strati. We use the word by plus the agent. So the agent is a person, the person who have done the action. The mosaic was made with corks. We have the word with and a material. So we cannot use with with an agent, with a name of a person, right? Let's go on. Uh, when do we use the passive? When the person who carries out the action is unknown, is unimportant, or it is obvious by the context. What does it mean? Let's have a look at the sentence. The words, uh, a words were first organized in 1963. Here it is not mentioned who organized the words because, because it is unimportant or because it can, be, um, it can be obvious by the context because it is known who organizes the words. Or for example, another sentence would be, the police caught the burglars. The burglars were caught. We do not say by the police because it is obviously known that the police catches the burglars. Number two, when the action is more important than the person who did it. So we use the passive when we want to emphasize the action and not the person who did this action. For example, plastic bags are transfer transformed into art. We are interested in the action that we can use uh, the plastic bags to form art. We are not interested who uses these plastic bags. That's why we do not include it in our sentence. Then we have got here to make statements more formal or polite. For example, taking photographs is prohibited. Even in this case, we do not use the agent, we do not mention the agent because it is not important. Uh, this kind of statements are found in different public places like libraries or museums and things like that. Here we have got how the passive is formed. Uh, again, and the changes that we have in a sentence to transform it from active to passive. Have a look at the sentence. Ann sent the invitations. And this sentence is inactive. Ann is the subject, the verb is sent, and the object is 
the invitations. Have a look at the sentence in the passive. The invitations were sent by Anne. Have a look. The object of the active sentence is transformed into the subject of the active sentence, right? Here it is, the invitations. We start the sentence with the invitations. What happens with the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of the passive sentence, and we call it the adjunct. What happens with the verb? The active verb changes into a passive form by using the verb to be plus the past participle of the verb. Be careful, as we said, the verb to be should be in the same tense that the verb is in the active sentence. For example, the word sent here is in the past. Even the word, the verb to be here, it is in the past. The verb to be depends on the subject as well. If we have got the subject here singular, the verb to be should be singular too. If the subject is plural, the verb to be will be in plural too. Now, let's see some examples. Present simple. The art gallery holds exhibitions. The verb is hold and it is in the present simple. So, have a look at the verb to be and the verb uh, in past participle. Exhibitions are held by the art gallery. Past simple. Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel was painted by Michelangelo. The verb painted is in the past, right? Have a look at the verb to be. It is transformed into was. And have a look at the subject in the active sentence. It is transformed in the object of the passive sentence. And the object of the active sentence is transformed or has become the subject of the passive sentence. Present perfect. He has made this piece of art with plastic bags, right? The verb is has made. Have a look how we form the passive in the present perfect. It is has been plus past participle or have been plus participle, past participle of the verb. So this piece of art has been made with plastic bags. So how do we form the passive in the present perfect? have or has been plus past participle of the verb. Future. Active. They will auction the Monet painting tomorrow. The Monet painting will be auctioned tomorrow. In the future we have will plus a bare infinitive, right? Have a look at the passive form. We have will be plus the past participle of the verb, of the main verb. And the last one, modals. He has to finish the sculpture soon. The model here is has to. How do we form the passive in the model? The sculpture has to be finished soon. So we form uh, the passive in models by using the model, be, and the past participle of the, of, the ver of the verb. In this case, has to finish, has to be finished. Now, let's practice passive in some sentences. Put the verbs in brackets into the passive form. Let's have a look at the sentences together. Can I take photographs? I'm sorry, but cameras are not allowed in the museum. The verb not allow is transformed into the verb to be plus the past participle of the verb. Here we have got a negative form and have a look. The, uh, the verb, the, the word not stays near the verb to be, right? We can even say aren't allowed. How do they publicize their work? And we are going to use the word hold. Have a look at the sentence. What tense is the question? It is in the present, right? That's why the passive here should be in the present. The verb to be should be in the present. Exhibitions are held all over the world for the man. Isn't anyone doing anything to restore the old painting? I don't know, but something have to do soon. So we have the case of a model here, right? So how do we form the models in passive? And we have has to be done, because as we said, we have the model plus be plus the past participle of the verb. Number four, how can we get tickets for the premiere? We give tickets next week just before the show. 
as we can see, the answer is in the future, right? Because we have got the word next week. So we need the future form here. Do we remember how we form the future in passive? Right, we use will be plus the past participle of the verb. And we will be given. Number five, how did the arts festival go? Great, it attend by over 10,000 people. Have a look at the question here. The question is in the past, right? So, have a look at the passive verb, was attended. We have used the verb to be in the past as well. How has he managed to finance his work? And we have got the word give here. Have a look at the question. What tense is it? It is in the present perfect, right? So it is used uh, the same tense in the passive. And he has been given a government grant. Let's go on with another exercise. Rewrite the newspaper headlines into full sentences using passive form. So we are going to change the headlines into full sentences into the passive. New museum to be opened by mayor. Atere, the proper sentence is, the sentence is passive, in passive is, the new museum will be opened by the mayor. Picasso painting stolen last night. Have a look at this headline. What tense is it here? It is in the past, right? So we are going to use the past as well in our passive sentence. And the sentence is, the Picasso painting was stolen last night. Be careful with the verb to be. It should be in the tense that there is the verb in the active sentence. Annual film festival opens tomorrow. So we have got the word tomorrow here. here. It is a time expression referring to the future, right? So we need the verb to be in the future. The annual film festival will be opened tomorrow. Have a look at the verb. How do we form the future in passive? Will be plus past participle of the verb. Renoir painting sold for one million. How do we transform this sentence? Be careful with the subject and the object. The Renoir painting has been sold for one million. One million dollar. Udi soon to make a film about Dali. We have the word soon here, a time expression referring the future. So be careful with the word, with the verb to be. And the correct sentence would be, a film about Dali will be made soon by Udi. Now let's have another exercise with passive again. Practice makes perfect, right? So let's be perfect using passive. Rewrite the sentences into the passive form. Use the agents where necessary. As we mentioned some minutes before, we can omit the agent by the passive sentence when it is not necessary, when it is unimportant, or when it is obvious by the context. We are going to find out together the sentences that we are not going to use the agent. The mayor announced the winner of the arts award and as we can see here, the, word is, the verb is announced. What tense is the word announced? It is in the past, right? So the verb in the passive should be in the past as well. We have got the verb to be, which is was or where. And here it is the sentence. The winner of the arts award was announced by the mayor. Let's go on with the next one. John spent $10,000 in the auction. We are going to make the change of the uh, position of the subject and the object. Be careful, the subject of the active sentence becomes the object of the passive sentence and the object of the active sentence becomes the subject in the passive sentence. So, how are we going to write the sentence? $10,000 was spent at the auction by John. So, the subject here is the object or the adjunct in the passive sentence. A wealthy businessman will donate $5,000 to the museum. So what is the object of the active sentence? Because we need it to start the sentence, right? We need to make it the subject of the passive sentence. 
and it is $10,000. $10,000 will be donated to the museum by a wealthy business. As we can see in the active sentence, the, the verb is in the future. That's why in the passive we have, we have used will be plus the past participle of the verb. The art school held a talent contest. So this is the object and this is the subject. We want the object to come here, right? To be the subject of the active sentence. Have a look at the verb held. It is in the past. So which auxiliary verb are we going to use and what tense are we going to use it? We are going to use to be in the past. So we need was or where. And the sentence is a talent contest was held by the art gallery. Local people will appreciate the new art gallery. We have got the verb in the future, the subject, the object. So let's have a look at how this sentence should be. The new art gallery will be appreciated by the people. And the last sentence, he painted his room with purple paint. Be careful, the verb here is in the past tense. So how do we form the past simple in passive? Was or where plus past participle of the verb paint. As we can see, the verb paint is a regular verb. So we form the past participle of regular verb by adding ed. So the sentence would be, his room was painted with purple paint. Thank you for your attention.